Happy Wednesday, everybody. I am here at the Coca-Cola Orlando Eye, which just reopened after scheduled maintenance. I'm excited because all three attractions here, Madame Tussauds, the Eye, and Sea Life are included on our Legoland annual pass. Let's go check it out. I'm hoping to be on the Eye during the fireworks for Disney. We've got a couple of hours before that. Let's go explore some of these attractions. There are so many things here at the iDrive 360 complex that weren't here before. For instance, this awesome train. I think I might be able to time this out very easily because there's nobody in here. But then again, by the time the fireworks roll around, this place might be packed. Let's go to Madame Tussauds first. Lady Gaga and Vin Diesel are not here today. Dang. The first wax figure we come up to is, uh, this guy? Who the heck is this guy? I just got the heck scared out of me by this cannon just went off. I'm inside of like a little ship area here. And then over there, I think that's Amerigo Vespucci. Let's go have a look. Oh, it's Ponce de Leon. This is so intense, like, he looks so real. It's cool too, because they've got little props and stuff for you to use and take photos with all of the characters. Are these called characters? I guess they're called figures. There's a room with Uncle Sam here and Abraham Lincoln. But he doesn't have his hat. Look how tan he was, and look at the size of his hands, they're huge. I feel like Neil Armstrong was like a heartthrob back in his day. If you stand up here next to Neil Armstrong, you appear on the TV as if you were on the moon with him during the first moon landing ever. Also, one of the things that I think is really neat is that the wallpaper in here actually matches the famous photo of the family sitting on the floor watching the TV as Neil Armstrong made his first steps onto the moon. Pretty neat. As you walk into the replica of the Oval Office, you see the former president, Barack Obama, and we turn and are stared down by the current president, Donald Trump. It looks like people have already like been messing with his hair a little bit. Is Donald Trump really this tall? Because like I'm six foot two and this he's taller than me. It's kind of impressive. He's giving me the side eye. And then we turn from Donald Trump to the right and we are greeted by Martin Luther King. Mr. Walter Elias Disney. I like the music that's in here. It's very epic. What do you think, Walt? I say he agrees. And we turn from Disney and we take a look into the next room of inventors and scientists. And we've got Thomas Edison. And then to his left. We got Mr. Einstein. It's actually really funny because there's all of these wax figures in here and as I walked by, I saw Martin Luther King right there and I was like, oh no, there's a person over there. No, it's just a wax figure. So props everywhere for you to take photos with and then we turn from Einstein and we see Steve Jobs. That just looks like a person just standing there, doesn't it? And then in the same room as Steve, Andy Warhol. It's pretty intense, like staring into the eyes of these wax figures. And Steve is looking off into the other room where they are describing how they make all of the wax figures. And this is Madame Marie Tussaud. They've got a station here where you can make a wax hand, but then they also have, there it is, the bust of Pitbull. And then there is a wire and pipe structure that makes up the skeleton of each of the wax figures. And they've got some handprints of people that have been here to Madame Tussauds Orlando. Look at how tiny Taylor Swift's hand is. It's a little baby hand. Now, Neil Patrick Harris on the other hand, very similar, well it's still a little bit small. Jimmy Fallon, me and Jimmy Fallon are probably around the same height and he's got about the same size hand as me. Madame Tussauds death mask, using her own methods by her sons who inherited the thriving business. Wow. Pitbull is helping describe how they make the wax figures. Oh, that's not Pitbull. That is the guy carving the Pitbull figure. And then we can kind of see down here how it starts and then how it ends. And we go into the next room and we see Mr. David Beckham. That's cool. I like that they still like, he's got tattoos, so they gave him tattoos, but not all the way up his arm, just right here. We're in the sports section now and here's little E, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, well, it's kind of interesting. You can kind of see how his hat is nailed to his head. It's a pretty cool effect that they have here. It's a wax figure of Muhammad Ali, and then on the ground, they have his shadow doing some boxing moves. They also have like a reaction game here, so you can test your reaction speed. Look how Dale Earnhardt Jr. is just looking across the way, and he's like, where's my best friend? Dan Marino. Do you think they're best friends? They might be. Where do you think he's trying to throw this football to? He's got the, like, the look in his eye, like, I want to get this football. 
into the basketball hoop over there. We've got Peyton Manning, who is also tall, very tall. Just to give you an idea, I'm 6'2", Peyton Manning, super tall. Shaquille O'Neal at seven foot one inch. He's almost a full foot taller than me. Of course, he's like standing up on his toes though, so he's cheating. Ugh, way taller than I am. You know, hanging out with Serena Williams. I think talking about tennis. Like, right, tennis? It's weird to stand next to these wax figures and like turn to them and like you're expecting them to like talk back to you. I keep seeing wax figures out of the corner of my eye. Like little Lee back here is just sitting there creeping. And like, I thought it was just a guy sitting over there. I looked over there and I was like, oh, what's that guy doing? No, little Lee. Back from when Madame Tussauds first opened, this was one of my favorite pictures that I ever took was I was in the golf cart acting like I was gonna run over Tiger Woods. And the last sports figure is Derek Jeter. And then we head into pop stars, listening to One Direction. This is Austin Mahone, not One Direction, but they're playing One Direction in here. I have no idea who Austin Mahone is, but there he is. Yeah. <laughs> right next to Austin Mahone, Taylor Swift. This is one of the older wax figures in this museum, in this location. And it kind of looks like it's showing its age a little bit, like her hair's all tousled. And doesn't look as realistic as some of the other wax figures. There's Pitbull. There he is. Mr. 305. My favorite thing to do is like compare my height to them. Also, it happened again with a wax figure right there, Madonna. I thought there was a person just standing there like with their hands up. You got me. There's Rihanna. This is blowing me away. Like these guys are so realistic looking. I like that you can see where they have tattoos. Like I never knew that she had a tattoo on her ear like this. Cody Simpson? Uh, who's Cody Simpson? I don't, I'm too old for this. I like that they gave him like a little thing of stubble there on his chin. Another height comparison, me and Katy Perry. She's uh, not very tall, kind of short actually. She's also in a very strange dress. Beyonce on the other hand, sort of tall, like almost my height. The king of pop, Mr. Michael Jackson. Is he wearing his, his glove? He's not wearing his glove. I thought he wore a glove in this outfit. Elvis is exactly my height. I don't know, pretty close. Pretty close, but I think Elvis is six foot two. Out of the pop star area, we head into the movie and film star area. First one we come to is Jimmy Fallon. For those of you guys that don't know, Jimmy Fallon does have a new ride opening up at Universal called Race Through New York, starring Jimmy Fallon. Across the way from Jimmy Fallon, there's a camera here, and you can go on set with Oprah Winfrey and take your photo as if you were on stage with her. Should also be noted that each one of these wax figures has a sign next to them that tells you a few facts about them. And here you can see the TV where you will show up for when you're on stage with Oprah. This wax figure is legend. Wait for it. Gary. Jennifer Lopez. And Sofia Vergara. And Jim Parsons from Big Bang Theory. I feel like maybe Jim Parsons might be the same height as me. Like we're sitting very similar in height. So that was just the TV section and then we turn the corner and we head into the Hollywood section to be greeted by Marilyn. There she is. As we listen to Jurassic Park, we turn from Marilyn and we turn towards Shrek and Fiona. Speaking of tall people, look at this, he's huge. Audrey Hepburn is enjoying some breakfast at Tiffany's. There's Jackie Chan. Still doesn't go with the Jurassic Park theme song, but there he is. This is probably one of the most realistic looking wax figures in this museum. We got John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John from Greece. Do you hear him? Is he singing? He's like, go green. She's all like, tell me more, tell me more. Like, does he have a car? And across from the Grease set, we have Kung Fu Panda. What was his name? Poe or something like that? Are you, sir, excuse me? Are you next? Are you waiting to take a photo? Oh no, look, it's Steven Spielberg. Am I supposed to sing something here? With arms wide open. I've got a Jurassic Park photo area here and then right next to it are some red jackets for you to put on and pedal the bike with E.T. back to the green planet. And we've got Jennifer Lawrence as Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games. Okay, I feel like these are all new ones from the last time that I was here. We got Zendaya, Selena Gomez, and... Channing Tatum. Here's Selena Gomez, and here's Zendaya. I have no idea who this is. I'm assuming she's like an actress and a singer. Here's Neymar Jr., and there's a free photo that you can take where you can get a gif of yourself playing soccer with Neymar Jr. Can you guys tell I don't know who that is? Is it Neymar or Neymar? What's his name? Johnny Depp, he was just in a Super Bowl commercial for Pirates 5, which is coming out soon. Do you think he's constantly looking like this? Like. Speaking of people that are my height, Ryan Reynolds is my height. There he is. I think Tom Hanks is too. 
he's not, he might be a little bit taller even. A whole group of people that are my height here in the party room. Will Smith, my height. Sam Jackson, I think my height. He looks awfully, but he's kind of like crouching a little bit. The last time that we came here was right after this place opened and Brad Pitt was standing with his then wife, Angelina Jolie. They have now been separated and are back to back, not even looking at each other. It's okay, Brad. It's okay. And then there's Angelina. What are we looking at, Ann? What is it? Oh yeah, I know what you're looking at. If I ever needed a driver, I know where to go. Right, he was the driver, right? I know. I wish they had given you an Oscar prompt too, but they didn't. Jennifer Aniston sitting over here on the other side of the room, still keeping an eye on Brad Pitt though. Emma Watson is gonna be in the new Beauty and the Beast movie. I have to admit, I am slightly uncomfortable with uh, her belly button. Ryan Gosling sitting over here thinking, I should buy a boat. As we're exiting the gift shop, there is one more wax figure over here, and that is Pharrell. I think this is one of the newest ones, too. Look at that hat. Those are all of the wax figures from Adam Tussauds. Here in the main lobby, there is a 70 dark ride adventure, a place where you can buy Legoland tickets, and then four different fast food type restaurants. We've got Little Italy, which is like pizza and calzones. All oh, those meatballs look pretty darn good. Some calzones. And then a pizza. We've got chicken now. It's like chicken sandwiches. So this is like more along the lines of like homestyle chicken, fried chicken, and stuff like that. We've got DJ's Mexican Grill, which is like tacos and burritos. And then we've got China Max, like New York style Chinese food. I might go up on the eye really quick and then we'll come back down and go back up again when it's time for fireworks because I think the sun is about to set. We might get a sunset up from the eye. So let's go check it out. Walking out, there's a little spot here where we can buy wine and beers and some Cokes, of course before we get on the Orlando Eye. Or on the Coca-Cola Orlando Eye. We're getting ready to get on right now. Is it constantly moving attraction, so you have to get on while it is moving and get off while it's moving. Here we go. It's just me. All right. There are iPads in here so you can see what all is around you and you can point at different things and it'll tell you a little bit of information about it. I have about a 20 minute round trip on the Eye, so we'll see what we can see while we're up here. Pretty cool looking. I've got a time lapse going over here of the entire trip. Ooh, there's Cokes in here. I wonder if these are free. I mean, there's nobody in here telling me not to drink a Coke, but they were selling Cokes down there. Very interesting. I probably should have set the camera up over here for the time lapse of the sunset. Ooh, look at that. We're on our way up 400 feet into the air over top of Orlando. As you can see on top of the other capsules, each one is air conditioned and equipped with an emergency box, just in case and an emergency hatch here. If you look way out on the horizon over there, you can see Epcot. So we know where we need to look when we come up here to try to catch the fireworks. The sun is starting to set. Oh, it's looking cool out there. We still got another quarter of a rotation till we're at the top dead center. You can see the skyline of downtown Orlando off in the distance. Looks like a fun spot. And then, oh my goodness, Volcano Bay. Look at that. Yeah, it's gonna be so awesome. It's a very beautiful sunset, almost to the top of our rotation. Kinda of interested to know what they're building right there. This is a convention center and right in its backyard. I feel like Universal owns this property. I know that they just bought a whole lot of it out here. Sunset's almost gone and we're almost at the top as we look down on the iDrive 360 complex. Once this large pole lines up with the center of our doors, that will be the top, very top, of the Orlando Eye. Ooh, boy! We're almost there. We're almost there. There it is. We are now at the exact top of the Orlando Eye. That was pretty cool. Now we're on our way back down. Still checking out the sunset. Still looks amazing. And I can't wait to see the fireworks from up here because I think it'll be really good to be able to be like up here for kind of a while watching the fireworks. It's about 20 minutes around and I believe the fireworks are about 20 minutes long. So at eight, we're gonna come up here and try to watch Magic Kingdom fireworks. Hopefully that's what the way that it'll work. I'll come into the car, maybe at like 7.55. Try that. Holy cow, look at the size of this coffee mug. I think it's gigantic. How much is it? $15. It's not bad for like a gallon of coffee. Now inside of Sea Life, 
and there's just a bunch of fish circling around. There's all kinds of fish in these tanks, and there's these little sections in here where you can duck under and get inside and look inside the tanks. Let's see if we can see this spiny lobster inside of there. There he is. We're inside of the fish tank now. Definitely not easy to fit inside of that thing. I think that's one of the most unique things about this place is all of the different shaped tanks. It really makes it so you can get inside and see the fish. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> They're tricky to find, you know, mate. They're masters of disguise. Special pigment cells in their skin mean they can change color and adapt to their environment. I think this is a monkfish. Oh, look at him. Holy cow. And even if you can find them, they're hard to catch. Not a monkfish. I don't know what it is. Do you guys know? Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what kind of fish this is. It's kind of disorienting because the, the the glass like convexes out. Make sure you always look at the floor too because they've got signs here saying that this is the Atlantic Ocean. So this is part of the large tank that's in the center. This section of tank is part of the Atlantic Ocean. It's got sharks in it. Look at how cool this is. There's like two little tunnels that you can go through and see all the fish inside. Oh no, these fish are fighting. Don't do that. Ooh, there's like a group of catfish here swimming against the current. I have a 360 degree tunnel where we are walking through the fish tank. Right now. There's some signs projected on the wall that tells you facts about whatever fish you're next to. These are all clownfish. And there's some blue tangs in there too. It's like Nemo and Dory. These are pregnant seahorses. These are the males that are pregnant. That one that looks like it's getting ready to give birth any second now. Sea turtle. That sea turtle is Ted. He's a rescued loggerhead sea turtle. Have you met Ted? This is what kind of waterways we have in Florida. These are the type of fish that we see most often in our lakes and rivers. There's some turtles in here too. Anytime that I would go fishing when I was younger, this is what we would catch. These are bluegills. Oh, there's a submarine play place in here for the kids. This is a sculpin. It can breathe air for a little bit because it lives in tidal pools and the tide goes in and out. And it needs to be able to breathe air because it doesn't have water when the tide goes out. The sea stars and anemones in here that you can touch but then there's another section over here that's the no touch zone. Sea Life has a charity called the Sea Life Trust. As you're leaving, you push one of these buttons to tell them which cause to support next. So I'm gonna go with sea turtles. And of course, all three attractions exit through the gift shop. We've got about an hour before the fireworks go off at Magic Kingdom. I'm gonna go down here and have a look at the fountain. I Drive 360 is definitely a place you guys would want to come on vacation. There's like a hookah shop and a bar, pretzel place, a coffee shop and bar, a Ben and Jerry's, a skeleton museum, a Walgreens. I don't know what the Walgreens is doing there. Sugar Factory 360. There's also skeletons over here, which is a skeleton museum. I'm not gonna go into the museum because last time I was walked into this place, there was a kid in there and he dropped something and it broke. And I was like, Ooh, I better get out of here. And here's an elephant skull. If you guys ever wondered what it looks like. Back when I Drive 360 first opened, we used to come out here to Tin Roof all the time. This place is great. It was a very fun restaurant. And if you look, there is a live band loading in right now. And they're gonna be playing later tonight. But this area has been built up so much since it first opened. There's a yard house, there's a Buffalo Wild Wings, there's a Shake Shack down there and an Outback Steakhouse. Here's a map that tells us everything that's here. Holy cow, there's a lot of stuff here. This is Cowgirls Rock Bar and Grill. And this looks awesome. Like, look at this, I wanna have that. The Texas Tower, that looks amazing. All right, we're trying to get the timing right. It is 7.56 now. Magic Kingdom fireworks start at eight. Let's see if we can see them. My first trip didn't have any music. This one has them just like playing some crazy music. The back, the back. Moving so slow, this is so nerve wracking. That's Hollywood Studios. That's interesting.
It was pretty cool. There was the contemporary. That's how far away we were watching. What an excellent time at the Orlando Eye Complex. I Drive 360 really is a happening place. If you're coming here to visit Orlando, definitely check it out. But that will do it for me, and I am off, and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.